you did talk, talk about the problems with observability and how, but I want to go a bit detail from the, how you are approaching it right. and where company is today and how you are trying to build the company to solve the problem. When we look at controllability, we break it down into kind of three areas, cost control, operational control, and adaptive control. Um, so, you know, the key problems you see like in cost controls, logs. We'll start with logs. You know, everyone has log issues. Let's say a log spike happens, maybe a developer or someone actually put a debug level too high. So the first solution is let's go in and actually filter out the logs you don't need. Don't send them to, to your observability vendor and pay for that. Let's filter out those. Let's deduplicate the ones that are duplicates. Don't send those either. You have to pay for those also. The ingestion, the indexing of those. Um, we have built this concept of metametrics which provides observability of your observability. So you know maybe where that log came from, which Kubernetes cluster, which application, what service, maybe even what developer. And if you know that, you can actually start saying, hey, that developer actually just released a new feature. It's okay to have that debug level. Or that's a QA testing application. We, that should never be on. I'm always gonna send those off to dev null. Or if it's important, I wanna save it for later, I can, reroute. And these are all things that we can do on top of our control plane and control theory. We can provide all these functions of deduplication, filtering, rerouting, managing logs, metrics, and traces in flight. So you don't have to pay for those, but also you get a higher signal to noise ratio. So you're able to get the, just the information you need that's important. And that's really where I think the, a, lot of, a lot of the value comes from. A, a, a huge cost issue we see a lot is uh, around custom metrics. And we can actually help customers solve this. Custom metrics are priced by cardinality. And that means the, the, the space, the sample space you're actually in, the number of variables that go into that metric. Now, custom metrics are very important because that's your key business KPIs. And those are the most expensive thing in most observability systems, like a data dog. So if you can reduce the cardinality, you can reduce your cost by 20 and 30% at times. Um, so you may not know you're paying for this stuff. You're trying to get the best information you can, but that's the most expensive part. So reducing cardinality is another process and transformation you could do from the telemetry before it's sent off to your observability vendor. So we're sitting on this control plane, and I mentioned control planes are kind of that, that pattern that we learned at, a, at a Oracle Cloud about building a scalable system. So this control plane sits on top of open telemetry and the open telemetry collectors. We use the standard open telemetry collector and that can connect with any source in any destination, which is actually pretty cool. So you don't have to be using open telemetry if you are even better. Um, and a lot of people are adopting it and they want to go forward. So this provides that bridge to the future, we might say, where they can start using it now. If they're using it a lot, we help them manage fleets of systems um, and you know, really help them take their observability to this next generation. The, um, you know, another key issue we see on, as I think about this net, now next generation is AI, a lot of AI stuff going on here at the show. Um, a lot of AI observability solutions need data. They need very refined data, very specific data. And sometimes they have to go collect that data themselves. Um, so what we can do is actually provide and fit, funnel the right kind of data to the AI systems. So this control plane, this data management plane can actually help AI systems going forward. So we see a lot of potential solutions today to cut costs, maximize results, get better root cause analysis. You know, maybe I'm gonna tail sample and get just the information I need for my, my traces. It's another good, good use case. And I'm also gonna be adaptive. So I'm gonna start using these feedback loops to tune and auto-tune the size of my pipelines. We call that elastic telemetry pipelines that actually helps you then scale um, and build up. If I need more information, I could build up that pipeline higher and send more data to my observability solution. Once that's over, I can actually reduce it. So once again, that's that feedback loop happening. Be smart about what you're sending. It kind of gets back to where we started. Like we saw observability could be better. Um, we could fix some of the issues, improve it, make it better, get people more choices going forward um, and be more open and provide more cost control. So that's really what we're trying to tap into, solve some of today's problems, solve the efficiency and the, the root cause analysis and make, make um, KPIs easier to get, but also help people bridge into the future. And that's really kind of the, the excitement we see all over the show here is uh, people trying to figure out where they are, justify 
where they're going to put their resources today, but also get ready for what's next.